tasting. Some people did get confused and they thought that it was a rum drinking session to see who could drink the most rum. <laughs> that will come on another day when we try to break a different record. But today is about tasting. It's about understanding the category of rum. It's about understanding what makes rum different from maybe some other spirits as well. And the appreciation and the understanding that rum is probably the best spirit in the world, I would say. I don't know, can I get an amen? Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you. We have Mr. Jack from Guinness over here. That's why he's looking official, so this is the guy we have to appease. Jack, do you want to come up and say anything on behalf of Guinness and the world record? Hello. Thank you for coming. This is an official Guinness World Records attempt for the largest rum tasting event. I'd like to wish you the best of luck and I hope to soon welcome you all to the Guinness World Records family. So Dave, when was the first time that you got into rum? Uh, I think I was about um, four. Four? Wow. Yeah, my, um, uh, my, my, my father's Jamaican, so obviously there's a lot of yeah, rum man. in the house. Jamaica, Jamaica anybody else? <laughs> <We're there. laughs> so obviously there was, a, there was a big party in the house and everybody sort of crashed and sort of woke up in the morning as kids do at about 6 a.m. and there's loads of uh, drink everywhere, half drinking That's true. <laughs> rum, so what does a kid do? He just starts necking every single empty, half full glass and that's the first time I got a mash up. We also, have, uh, we also have six other distinguished guests as well and these are the guys that are actually involved in the rums that you're going to be trying today. So the first rum that you'll be trying today and it'll be beautifully introduced to you by the International Marketing Manager of Diplomatico Rum my good friend, Mr. Abby! Have you here? <laughs> what you have in your, in your hands right now in the glass is Diplomatico Reserva Exclusiva. It is a blend of copper pot steel rums, column steel rums, and batch kettle rums. The 80% of the blend comes from pot steel, which makes this rum to be a um, deep and intense flavor, aroma, and feeling. From Venezuela, and introduce you today by the COO of Don Q and Sarai's Distilleries, Mr. John Heeson. What you have in your hand is the Gran Añejo once again which is a blend of six to 12 year old rum in American white oak, which then we take the rum and blend it with up to 20 year old rum in Solera Cherry Cass in the Solera method. Just a beautiful blend of that Solera aged rum in there gives it a very, very smooth finish and a very easy, easy drink. The biggest selling rum in Cuba, one of the fastest growing rums in the world, Brought to you by the master blender, the maestro, Roneros, from Havana Club, Mr. Azabel Morales. Give him a big hand. Hoy tenemos en, en sus mesas, en la copa número 3, Havana Club, siete años. Today we have, uh, you have in your glasses, Havana Club, seven years. En la nariz. Realmente se, se siente, se nota un balance, es decir, es una, un abanico de aromas. It knows you can feel a, a wide variety of aromas. It's not a single dimension room. The Passer's Navy Rum, Navy Star Rum, proper Navy strength. And to introduce you today is the main man. He's involved in blending, he's involved in selling, involved in marketing, actually in the whole of procurement. Mr. George Frigard, all the way from South Carolina and Virgin Islands. Thank you, everybody. What you will be drinking is the original Admiralty strength. As Ian said, it's 54.5%. Um, the top was known when you take it. I want you to say, up spirits. Up, up spirits. spirits. Woo! Sorry. Really now, <laughs> that should be a very smooth finish, surprisingly. 
Ooh, nice. Thank you, everybody. Well, the number one rum from Trinidad. Another one of my favorite rums, just like the other four. <laughs> All the way from Trinidad is Trinidad's own Angostura 1919, brought to you by the man that makes the rum, John Georges. This is a change up, different from everything you've ever drunk before. To begin with, you've got to look at it. It's a beautiful golden color. Nice shiny light on it. Ooh, the nice. middle note gives you a tight little hug, like a spicy hug. And then in the back of the throat, you get the bite. And if rum doesn't bite, it isn't rum. But you know what? You know what? That bite, that little pain, somehow that pain turns into pleasure. Yeah? That pain turns into oh. pleasure. One of the most esteemed people in the industry presenting her rum today for you, Miss Joy Spence from Appleton, Jamaica Rum. So let's see how best to appreciate our special rum this evening, Appleton Estate 12-year-old, which has been aged for a minimum of 12 years in white American oak barrels. The first step is to hold your glass to the light and examine the rum for the beautiful clarity and brilliance. You should see the rum having reflections of the light in the room. And guess what? This rum has a lot of body. Beautiful orange peel top note, wrapped with molasses, twisted with a hint of spice. Let's swirl the glass and release the Appleton spirit. Six great rums. Right, now this is the part I don't know what goes on because I've never done this before. This is all new to me. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna find out what we have to do. Let me just go over to Mr. Judicator. What do we do, what do, we do now? Right. Thank you everyone for taking part. Now is an incredibly important moment as I need to speak to the stewards to make sure that there aren't any deductions that need to be made. So if you'll just give me a couple of minutes, I'll get back to you with a final result. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Ian Burrell for inviting me here today to be a part of this landmark occasion. My name is Jack Brockbank and this has been an official Guinness World Records attempt for the largest rum tasting. At Guinness World Records, we call this type of record attempt mass participation. And as such, it's a very, very difficult to organize. Incredibly, it, there, are, there are so many different elements, these stewards, all of the organization that's gone into this. So I'd like to once again say thank you so much, Mr. Ian Burrell, for spearheading this. Now, I'm, I'm not even going to go into how difficult it's been for me, a, a rum lover, to watch all of you tasting this wonderful rum without being able to take part. <laughs> Maybe later. Anyway, on to the final results. We had at the beginning of this official rum tasting a total of 358 participants. <laughs> However, we did have to make some deductions. The total number required in order to set a new Guinness World Records title today is 250. I can now confirm that the final total here today is 353. <laughs> And 
and it therefore gives me great pleasure to officially recognize a new Guinness World Records title! Congratulations! Mr. Ian Burrell. Rum Tasters here with us today. You are officially amazing. Guys, I, I need to make an announcement. Obviously, this record could not have been done without you guys, so seriously, give yourself a big hand for please for coming out here on a Thursday night. It was raining, planes were cancelled, there was traffic. England are playing football on TV today. All right, maybe not. Oh, they are. Um, but again, some of the people I really want to thank, and I want to present them with an award as well, with those guys. I'm going to present you with some rum. <laughs> but um, the master blends themselves. From the Rum Experience, I want to present Toron Diplomatico for being part of this record. Javier, come up. From Havana Club, Asbel Morales. Come up on the stage. Joy Spence from Appleton. John Georges from Angostura. John Eason from Don Cool. And last but not least, who am I missing? George Freegard. Come up, come up. 